is so exciting. Look at that. See, it holds a 10 year old boy. That's way cheaper than going to Ikea and even spending $300 for their bunks that you still have to buy the mattresses for that won't even fit in this space. So the UPS guy just showed up and I am so excited. Fuck it. Did that? No. Did you sit backwards? I said fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and did we tell you that we just got a memory foam mattress? So let's go test it out. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So today feels like the first day in probably seven days that I just am not a hot mess of tiredness. <laughs> uh, we finally are making some headway and I got my new bedding in, the mattresses in, and we can start moving furniture in and building our bunk. So we're on the home stretch and uh, super exciting now. And now is where I feel like this is starting to get fun instead of being like, oh my gosh, what did we do? So even though there's things that aren't perfect, we've been learning along the way, um, we're fairly happy with the results as they've turned out so far for us having no clue what we're doing. And did we tell you that we just got a memory foam mattress? Completely expanded, so let's go test it out. <laughs> I need to test it out. Like test it out, I mean jump on it and lay on it. No. Yeah, all right. Look at this thing, it's so soft. Oh man. Get your shoes off of it. It is so comfortable. Like seriously guys. And the nice thing is it's a little bit wider so we actually gained a few inches of space here. Shoes off the bed. Just take your shoes oh, off. It's so comfortable. This dinette, first of all, it is super lightweight. Very, very easy to get into the rig. It comes in in 30 pieces. So you've got the bottom bench, like the back part, and then the back part cushion. And so I am going to put these together. These pieces that it comes in makes it very, very easy to carry. And in fact, I carried in two of these pieces, Ben carried in the bench part on his own super lightweight, easy to fit through the door. So that's a total plus. I am gonna put this first one together while Ben gets the second one in, and then uh, we'll be able to show you some of the cool features about this Rec Pro dinette. Looks easy to put together. Three bolts. I know, that's I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, honestly. Okay, so to lift this up, it is gonna be easier to take this off when you go to lift this up all the way back. Got it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much storage down here. Okay, so this is probably one of the most exciting things that I'm excited about. To use this for storage, you get the whole bench space, not just a pull-out drawer, which means you have such a better use of space. So to use this for storage, you just pull the back cushion off, which is just super easy. And then you open up this bench like this, it flips open and you have so much space inside. Like, look at this. So much storage. I bet you Dakota can fit in there and hide and play hide and seek. I'll be stuck for good. You'd be stuck for good. Yeah. Look at that. 
See? It holds a 10-year-old boy. So since this bench actually opens up for storage versus having just a cushion on top of a board, which is how the majority of all these booth dinettes are, even in newer rigs, it means a lot more comfort in the seat itself because it's got these springs that are actually in the seat versus having just a piece of foam on a board. So it's more of like a couch feel when you sit on this because of how it's constructed. So it's super comfortable. One of the things that we've always kind of complained about was how uncomfortable our old dinette was because we work on the road. And so our workspace tends to be the dinette area because that's where we have a tabletop and that's where we have a place to sit. Ben does a lot of his editing there because it's a flat surface versus just sitting with a laptop on his lap. So this is gonna be a whole new level of comfort for those working days while we're on the road, having this type of a booth dinette set up versus the old style. So, yay! We will make sure we put a link below for um, the Rec Pro website. They have so much for RV furniture, dinettes being just one option, but it does not come with any mounting hardware to mount into the RV just because there's so many different varied applications. So you'll need to mount it in the RV. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, we just picked up these kind of like corner braces at Home Depot today. So um, there's two in a package. We picked up several of these and then we're just gonna use this to mount it to the floor of the slide so that it's nice and stationary and stable in the actual slide area. So if you go with something like this, you'll just need to get some of these types of brackets, Home Depot, Amazon, they're readily available at any kind of hardware place. So installation's really easy. I just mounted this one and it took me maybe a minute. There's a piece of wood right here to mount it on and right here. So screw it in. That's set. I'll do one on the bottom. And then screw the rest of them in. It's really easy. So we're at Home Depot again this morning, which I'm hoping that this is borderline our last trip. I'm hoping that we're going to get lumber for the bunks and uh, return a few things that we thought were gonna work and didn't get some more of the peel and stick wallpaper because we ran out of that. And then just a few small miscellaneous like tools slash like building supplies. So armed with my mask, let's hopefully make this the last trip. <laughs> Uno mas. Mm. All right, so I think we got everything. So we're gonna go check out. I'm so super excited because this means we're really getting to be on the home stretch of this remodel job. And I am so ready to get back on the road. So let's go check out and um, we'll let you know how much all of this costs but I know this bunk bed especially is probably going to be one of the most inexpensive bunk beds that is going to be out there. So I'm kind of actually excited to see what the tab comes to. That is a crescent wrench. So I'll be using this to fix the jack on the RV so I can install my snap pads. Future video coming soon. Two by fours were 196, two by twos, 11.92. One by twos were $32.78. 
So now I'm at $169.66 in lumber. My screws, $12.50 on those. And then my paint, oh, there's the paint, $19.98. So my total costs and materials to build these custom bunks for the materials is $210.86. And then I'll still have to buy the foam mattresses, but it's way cheaper than going to Ikea and even spending $300 for their bunks that you still have to buy the mattresses for that won't even fit in this space. So I am pretty stoked about the material cost on this being fairly low. So there you go, 200-ish bucks for materials. Today I'm gonna start the prep for the bunk bed build say that three times fast, bunk bed build. So I'm gonna start by laying out my two by fours. Now this bed is going to be primarily built <laughs> with uh, two by fours. So there's more two by fours than any other piece of wood. I also have some one by fours and some two by twos. So I will let you know, I'll put a link in the description below. There is a great plan that I found online to build these out and I am just gonna change the measurements to fit the space that I have because the measurements as they're laid out um, aren't really necessarily designed to like fit within a certain space, but I only have a certain amount of space for the width of the slide and the height of the slide um, and the depth to be able to put these in. So gonna be modding the measurements a little bit, but today I'm gonna start by getting everything sanded and kind of prepped because I am gonna paint it kind of like a gray color and not just leave it a raw wood, um, just because I want it to really stand the test of time with two children. So, gonna start on that. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm so excited to be able to just work outside, get a little bit of sun while I'm at it. Um, so I'm gonna get started with sanding all of these boards down. This is getting more exciting. I don't know why I have one glove on and one glove off. It's like a Michael Jackson thing or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, the plans that I have for the bunk beds that I found online, I'm having to modify those slightly. Now the good news is height-wise for what the plan is, there's no modifications needed there. I am modifying width by four inches and I'm modifying length by two inches. So the way that the plans are laid out, you start by building the ends of the bed first and then you start to build the middle part. So I wanted to just put together this roughly. There's still more boards that will go into the end, but at least there's the outline of the end. And I wanted to get that put together first and come in and make sure before I have been start cutting all these boards and then find out, oh, we're way off on our measurements. So had this brought in, um, then I just carried this in and set it up against where that this is gonna go. And um, I've got a little bit of room on the height, which I didn't modify that. That was the plan height, so we're good there. I'm like a hair. So we're good on the height. And then um, on the width of where that this sits in the slide. So I, we've got, you can see at the bottom here, that I've got plenty of room then on this width. The edge of the slide actually would come out to this black strip, which I'm definitely not there, I'm just inside it, which is kind of where I wanted to be for multiple reasons. So this is, I think, gonna work really, really perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and finish getting the ends together and then the next step will be to start putting the rails together. So um, that's another place where we'll want to just make sure that we're still good on measurements, but so far so good.
UPS guy just showed up and I'm so excited. I decided to try ordering these mixed tiles and oh my gosh, I'm so super happy with what looks like is going on in here. So we're gonna go hang some of them up in the RV, but look at this guy. Look at this. Now this is the cool thing. This is all our own photography from the different places that we have visited. So they're super, super lightweight. It's like basically kind of on a foam board. And then you're supposed to be able to just like stick it. And then if you decide you want to take it down, like pull it off and restick it without any damage to the walls. So I'm super stoked to go put some of these up inside of the rig. Yay! Um, now, as of the taping of this right now, I have not reached out to Mixed Tiles. This isn't sponsored by them in any way. But after seeing how wonderful these are, I do plan on reaching out to them. So if we're able to secure some sort of discount for you all, that will be in the comments, the links below. Okay, so in here we kind of have a little bit of like an ocean theme going on. So I'm trying to decide which ones we want in here that are more ocean themed for sure. This one here, Ponce Inlet. Oh yeah, and then this one, this is another one of Ponce Inlet. We love Ponce Inlet. And then this is me over on the Gulf at Honeymoon Island State Park. These ones here are Monument Valley. So cool. Drone shot of the rig. This is Arizona, so figure out these. But these three for sure, I feel like we need in here for an ocean themed thing. What do you want on your side? You want? Pelicans, or do you the want pelicans, the pelicans on your side? Okay, so I'll put this one on my side. So we should just be able to pull this off. Now this is supposed to be able to just like stick on the wall and then you can like remove it and re-stick it if you want to re-stick it somewhere. So we can just, you think up there, right? Not well, down there, definitely yeah, up I would here. Say well, we're supposed make, to be able to just it in between it. the two here. Up a little bit. Up a little? Yeah, just kind of centered with the light in the like there. Top. Oh, yeah. you want to center on the light, okay. Yeah. And there's totally enough room for the slide to clear this. You know my thoughts on the TV anyway, but. TV is just fine. <laughs> a little off center. Oh, see, it doesn't damage the paint or anything. Sweet. Cool. So today I'm super hopeful that we are gonna make some big time progress. So on the list for today, get our blinds installed that we went to Home Depot. Now we were gonna do Ikea. We were told Ikea has cut to fit blinds, they don't. So we ended up getting some roller shades from Home Depot that are cut to fit to the width of the window. So we're gonna be putting those in today. The other thing that we're going to be doing today is hopefully finishing the final assembly on the bunks. I ordered in the mattresses for the bunks. So those have been laid out and expanding. So those will be ready to put in as soon as we get the bunk assembly done. So I'm hopeful that we can get that done. I am hopeful that we can get some of these little odds and ends finished with the lighting that still needs to be replaced in the ceiling of the rig. Last but not least, we have got to figure out an issue that we're having now with one of our slides catching on the vinyl flooring. Now, Ben jumped on a call with another Fleetwood owner that has the same year make and model as ours found out that there's a little bit of a known issue with these slides when they come in and out. It used to have carpet, so that allowed it to roll on the carpet. Our new flooring's not allowing that to happen. So we've got to figure out that and that's gonna be a on the fly, on your own engineering kind of mod. So we've got to fix that. And then the final thing's gonna be to reinstall the front seats. So stay tuned and we'll let you know how far we make it and hopefully we'll have some really cool before and after shots for you very, very soon. Yeah, okay. I like to do things the way I do things. Mm -hmm. And when I do things, I like to do things the way I do things. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since I've been on solo dolo. And I'm feeling for some vices on the low line. I'm gonna do what I do when I keep it on live. Wanna move, wanna groove, wanna make that thing pop. Pace yourself, brace yourself, things about to get wild. Relax yourself, release yourself. Things about to get wild. Things about to get wild. Do you like it like that? Do you like it like that? Cause I like it like that. Do you like it like that? Do you like it like that? Cause I like it like that. Do you like it like that? Do you like it like that? Cause I like it like that. Do you like it like that?
So we wanted to give you a real time update on the finish of the bunks. So they're here, they're in, and uh, we've got back from our first shakedown trip. So make sure you're subscribed for that video coming very, very soon. These mattresses are a memory foam mattress that we ordered off of Amazon and I cut it to fit. So there's actually a cover that unzips this was unzipped. I cut it to fit. I had to modify the width and the length slightly, um, but that fits perfect. So have these in. And then we put in the bookcases that we got from Ikea. So they're attached in here. The kids have used these for their books and their stuffed animals when we did our shakedown trip. And then another thing that we've got is each kiddo has got their own outlets and then we've got like some fans that are in here too so they can have a fan in their bunk space as we are either traveling or just to have white noise at night or some airflow if they feel like that they need it so those are all in here and then they each have their own individual lamp up here for reading as well so that's something that they have in this bunk area as well but we could not be happier with the results of these bunks and it has made RV living with a family in a class A so much easier. We are on the home stretch. Yes. So exciting. Couldn't happen at a better time because we plan on hitting the road after tomorrow. So what are we going to do? Today we are going to put the seats in. So that's pretty much the last thing that needs to go in the RV. Yep, last thing to be reinstalled. I've got just a smidge of flooring to finish up in the entryway. And we are officially going to call this project a wrap. Right. Furniture's going back in. So another update that we wanted to give you guys is on the flooring situation. So we did a lot of going back and forth on this, but basically what we found is that the slide doesn't have rollers in this older model. It just has these large kind of like glides for lack of a better description. What was happening is, is it was catching on the flooring. So in this one area, what we had to do is we actually picked up a gray, very thin cutting board from Ikea. And then we adhered that in place here so that when the slide comes in and out, it's actually gliding over this hard plastic um, and not on the flooring itself. And then right here, we just took a couple extra pieces of flooring and actually adhered them uh, to this slide corner. So it just lays really nicely when you see it and then it slides in with the slide. It's not attached to anything other than the slide itself and then goes back out so that it's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But unfortunately, because we did choose to go with the rollout vinyl and because of the way that the slide in this 2004 is made, there was no other option but to create some sort of mod for a smooth spot for this to glide in and out. Whereas prior it had been carpet where it was gliding in and out. So that was the fix and it's worked great so far and we'll see how it continues to work over the years. 